Hi my friends, this is Lance with BestKidsSolutions.com and in this video we are going to be discussing why kids should have cell phones. Now this topic, there are pros and cons and obviously is the preference of the parent, but in this video we are going to discuss why it is beneficial for kids to have cell phones. Let's get to it. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. A little bit about myself. I'm an award-winning educator. I have been teaching for over 20 years. I, have, I am the proud father of two amazing young daughters. I have an amazing wife who is also a special needs teacher. And both of my parents have been school teachers in the public school system for over 40 years each. And as you can see, we really have dedicated our lives to helping what we believe are the most important people on this planet. And those are, of course, kids, parents, and teachers. Now, if you're interested in hearing more videos and seeing more videos about how you can help kids, parents, and teachers and topics of the like, please think about subscribing because that is what we are dedicated to do. We'll be putting a lot of videos out, so we hope that you will subscribe and there will be a lot of videos on this topic for sure. Now, the topic at hand is, of course, why should kids have cell phones? Now, this is just going to be a brief synopsis of our longer article at bestkidsolutions.com. If you want a detailed version, of this video, please go ahead and go to Best Kids Solutions and look for the Why Should Kids Have Cell Phones article. This is just going to be our top three or our first three reasons and you can get more of the detailed information in the article. But let's get to the very first one. The very first one is of course safety. Now safety is probably one of our biggest concerns as parents. As teachers it's the same thing. We want to make sure the students are safe. But having a cell phone can really help in that department. Obviously, it's a huge thing to have a cell phone when communicating, when your child is walking home from the bus or walking home from school, when they're at, at either at daycare or at soccer practice or whatever the case may be, having the, the opportunity for the child to be able to call you at any time if there's an emergency is a no-brainer. This is probably the number one reason why parents give their children cell phones. Even though there are some downfalls, being able to call their child or the child call the parent in an emergency is a slam dunk 100%. Also, kids feel safer when they know that they can call their parent at any time. When they feel uncomfortable, whether they're at school or at an extracurricular activity, doesn't matter the situation. Being able to call the parent at any time really makes a big difference in how the child feels and it gives the child some confidence when being able to try new things and do new things, knowing that they can talk to their parent at any time. Now, another big one is, you know, you can make it very convenient in an emergency. You can, you know, program a cell phone to just have the family members numbers on there so that if there's an emergency or if there's something that's going on, they all just have to do is click one, press the number one, and it directly calls mom or dad or grandma and grandpa, whatever the case may be. So it really does help in an emergency or if they are feeling threatened, that is a perfect way to handle that. And of course, you know, parents also feel better knowing that they can contact their child at any time as well. Not only, and not only is it for the the child to feel comfortable, but it's for the parent to feel comfortable. It'd be, it's when they drop their child off at school or at soccer practice or dance or whatever the case may be, knowing that they can get into contact with their child at any time is huge. Now obviously you're going to need to t take some time to make sure and make it a precedent that they do answer the phone and they are being responsible with the phone so that when you do call, they're ready to go. And that brings us to the second one, which having a cell phone teaches responsibility. You know, a cell phone really does help a child understand, you know, the, the cost of ownership. You know, having something that is of high value does take a bit of time to get used to. And so by having a cell phone, not only does it help with safety, 
but now they're learning how to take care of something, something that can be easily broken, that does take some maintenance. And so being able to take care of this phone really does make a, a child feel more confident in their sense of ownership. Plus, you know, when you have a pride of ownership, when you have the ability to take pride in something that is theirs, I think that that starts that good process of being able to take care of their own items and that will that can branch on off into so many different other things and i think that's a great a great thing as well now you can also start a conversation on how you know important things are to be taken care of and where to keep them during the day during this your know, school you know it, it gives you an opportunity for you to discuss with the child, okay, what do you do with the phone when you're at school? What do you do when it's time to go to bed? What should you do with it? You know, it, it sets up processes for how to take care of something. And I think that is a very important step to do because, you know, a broken cell phone is something that you'd prefer not to happen, but it's a small price to pay for teaching your child the ability and the structure to come up with a plan for how to take care of this. You know, having a dead cell phone, there's definitely way worse that can happen. As they get older, they will realize that this ability to be able to take care of something, be able to, to know how to uh, handle it and put it away during certain situations and during times will elevate them when they are having to take care of something even more important. And of course, as we mentioned, it teaches them routines. It allows them to be able to understand that if you don't plug it in at night, you won't have it in the morning. You know, certain, you know, costs versus reward, or in this case, you know, the, the results of cause and effect. If you don't do this, this can't happen. And once again, this is a great way to start your child off with these real world scenarios. So that works perfectly. And the third one is going to be just convenience for both you and your child. I think that really makes a big difference. You know, parents and children can call each other at any time. And obviously that's amazing for safety, but it also can be something to the effect of, you know, listen, the coach is going to extend the, the, uh, soccer practice or gymnastics practice practice an extra 30 minutes rather than you showing up 30 minutes thinking that it's time to pick up your child the child can just pick up the phone and say hey mom dad we're going to extend the practice uh, or whatever the case may be once again this becomes a convenience factor and as as they get older obviously you know them being able to swing by and pick up a gallon of milk on the way home is huge once they get to that that level and they get old enough now obviously you know the child can use their phone for all different types of things and when it comes to convenience being able to use your phone on the go for research and for homework is huge when you're, you're able to step away from the the desktop computer and pretty much use your phone as a resource to google something to how to spell something to 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 look up a meaning whatever the case may be whatever the case may be that is something that's really important to be able to help the child with their schoolwork with their homework or just in general such as spelling a word or looking up a question that they may have a lot of times you know we've always said there's no reason in arguing about it google it you know how many times have, have two or three people been discussing or arguing about a situation when all they had to do is google it and just that in itself keeping two siblings from arguing arguing over a answer that can be easily looked up on google <laughs> is worth its weight in gold now also, you know, when a child is away for a long period of time, let's say, you know, a sleepover or at their grandparents' house or maybe they're at their friend's house. Once again, you know, them being able to call in and check in and make sure that that they are not only safe, but you know when they're coming back, you know, you're able to to discuss certain things with them. So once again, obviously safety is is 100%. But, you know, convenience also plays its role as well. And we have multiple other different 
topics or pros uh, for why a child should have a phone in the article. So go ahead and check that out. My friends, I hope that you did find some value to this. I hope it did help. Um, as I mentioned before, there are some cons. You know, you want to really make sure that, and we'll probably make another article in this regards, but you really want to make sure that you're limiting the apps on the phone. I mean, as especially when they're just getting a phone, but even when, you know, a child is older you know if if you can limit it to the you know the safety teaching them the responsibility the convenience and all the other things that you'll see in the article it's a slam dunk the problem that you get is when you start you know the, the child starts using the phone for TikTok or for social media and then you have you know predators on the other end of the internet or the wi-fi that can cause a problem and that's where the phone gets a a, a little iffy so there are safety protocols that you can put in place to, to reinforce these pros, but there are definitely cons to having a phone. But this way you understand that there are quite a bit of good things that can happen. Now, once again, if, if you like this video, if it brought you some value, please give it a big thumbs up. We do appreciate that. If, as I said before, if you want to see more videos, based upon helping kids, parents, and teachers, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. We're gonna be making a video almost each day, and so you're gonna be able to see a different video almost every single day. So go ahead and click that bell not notification so that you know when the next video is coming up, and it'll be right there ready for you. My friends, I appreciate you coming by, but before you go, please go over here and check out one of our new videos or our other videos, I should say, and you're more than welcome, please, if, like I said, if you'd like to go ahead and click the, the subscription button over here, because we'd love to see you back again. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next video.